So let's say I'm interested in finding information on the accumulation of frazzle ice on the intake trash rack and how this accumulation can cause the trash rack to collapse. Like the other database, it's important that you can answer in your most important topic first. So here I'm going to enter in my topic frazzle ice and use quotation marks to determine a phrase. Keep everything lower in case. I hit the search and I have how many? 168 results that talk about uh, trash racks somewhere in the record. The most recently published information will appear first in the list. So the first one by Holland and Feltham the effects of rotation and ice shelf topography on frazzle laden ice shelf water plumes in the Journal of Physical Oceanography uh, of December 2006. So let's say 168 items are way too many for me to look through. I just don't have the time or the patience. What you can narrow, do is narrow down your topic by adding another term or another phrase. So the other thing what I'm interested in learning about are trash racks. So again, enter in your term or your phrase, uh, trash rack, and if it has to be a phrase like trash rack, use quotations. So it's going to search my 168 results by the word trash rack. So hopefully I'll get less results and something definitely more specific. So I went from 168 down to 1 and the title of this article is Laboratory Tests of a Time Domain Reflectometry System for Frazzleized Detection. It's been cited by two other articles within this database. It's in the Canadian Journal of Civil Engineering and it's from April 1999. I'm going to click on the Get It button to see if this article is available full text for me online or do I have to come down maybe to the library and borrow it in print. It is available full text online so I'm just going to choose the very first one from the National Research Council of Canada. And here's the article, Laboratory Tests of a Time Domain Reflectometry System for Frazzleized Detection. Alright, so I'm done looking that. I'm going to close that window and I'm going to close this window. A good thing to do is once you found one item that's pretty, you know, pretty well on topic, is click on that number of times something has been cited. So two. And it should lead me to those two other articles that are talking about frazzle ice. And hopefully those articles will be, you know, relevant to what it is I'm looking for. So the first one is written by Daly and Atima, Frazzleized Blockage of Water Intakes in the Great Lakes, Journal of Hydraulic Engineering from August 2006, or Doring and Morris, a Digital Image Processing System to Characterize Frazzle Ice, again from the Canadian Journal of Civil Engineering from February 2003. So now I have two other articles, and in fact the second one by Doring has been cited three times. So if I want I can click on that three and get a three additional articles. I'm going to choose the Get It button again, and hopefully again this will take me to the full text of the article. Again I'm going to choose one of those links. And it brings me to the article. Click on PDF and the article will open up full text for me. There it is. And of course this can be saved or printed as you need. I'm going to close this window, close that window, and there we go. So that's a very quick introduction to using Web of Science. Now remember, if you're not finding what you want, change the terms that you're using or even change databases. Not all databases have the same content. Of course, you can always come to the reference desk and ask a question there too.